Now a second day of protest campouts at both UW Madison and UW Milwaukee. The pro Palestinian groups are joining protesters at universities nationwide demonstrating over the war in the Middle East. 12 News Hannah Hilliard has been monitoring the protests outside Mitchell Hall on the UW Milwaukee campus. She joins us now live. Hannah, we can see behind you the protesters are still there tonight. Yeah, the tents are still up. You have flags, signs here, and certainly throughout the day, we've seen more and more people as the school and workday winds down come out here to this encampment. It's really just a lot of people. They just finished up some chanting, but just conversing, chatting with one another. It's been a very relaxed atmosphere out here much of the day. We do know that police, they have been out here patrolling the area, but I have not seen any police interaction with protesters today. We know the First Amendment protects free speech and the right to assemble, but Wisconsin law prohibits camping on university grounds. So we asked a legal expert today which one takes precedent. What takes control here? What's what's in charge? So the First Amendment right of assembly does not extend to a right to trespass. And as long as the rules limiting that process are neutral and provide, and this is key, adequate alternative grounds to be heard then those rules are permissible. We clearly have students on both campuses camping out with tents and we're not seeing arrests. Why is that? We're talking about the rules about what under the Constitution and the law uh, are permissible, what universities may do. That's very different from what they should do. To be a university administrator, to be a good one, requires exercise of discretion, knowing your campus, knowing the people. There's nothing wrong with choosing not to enforce a rule Again, as long as it's for a good reason and done neutrally. Hannah, the protesters say they plan to stay until there's a policy change. Oh, right. They have a long list of demands, but it all boils down to wanting the university to take a tougher stance against Israel. And as for the camping, the organizers of this protest says that the law does allow a university chancellor to make an exemption and that they are asking this chancellor to do so and say they will fight back legally if they are forced out of this encampment. Hannah Hill, you're reporting live at UW Milwaukee tonight. And the protesters say they won't leave campus until their demands are met. You can read those demands and the university's response to them right now on the WISN 12 app.